My name's Nabiha Iqbal, otherwise known as Throwing Shade. I'm a DJ, producer and NTS radio presenter from London. I've lived here my whole life and I love this city, but things seem to be changing. Last year, a massive 323,000 people emigrated from Britain. And with spiralling costs of living contrasted with a better quality of life elsewhere, it's easy to see why. I'm visiting Lisbon and Leipzig, two cities which have burgeoning music and art scenes. I want to see whether they can offer me the same kind of life as London does, but in a more affordable way. Could I ever relocate there permanently? So far, I've met a Londoner who made the move, as well as local musicians in the city. Now I'm off to meet an old friend, Sara, to explore Lisbon's nightlife. Why do you think so many young creative people are making the move to Lisbon now? You can live in the city centre, which is a luxury these days. You can live in a top floor overlooking the river and surrounded by other artists and just walk to your studio. Our mayor is trying to keep young people in the city centre. Oh, really? Is, yeah. That's really interesting because yeah. London seems like it's the opposite and people are moving out. You have a lot of old buildings and palaces that serve as residences for artists. I think that's something I really want to try and check out while I'm here. Hey, DJ Fermeza. Yeah. Hey, nice to meet you. Sara and I met up with DJ Fermeza, one of the leading producers of Lisbon's Batida Sound. He wanted to show us what Lisbon's club scene has to offer. I had a great night with DJ Fermeza and it left me even more curious to meet the artists taking advantage of the sorts of spaces that Sara mentioned. So we made some calls and we managed to get in touch with an artist called Ricardo. He's been working in a converted studio inside an old coastal fortress. It feels really surreal to be in an old palace that's full of artists' studios. How did the whole project start? The project começou with the idea of a curator who invited some artists to occupy this space as a residence of art. Do you think Lisbon is a good place for young artists? To invest in you as an artist, it can be a little bit of acaba por ser um bocado bom e mau estar em Lisboa. As coisas também são mais... não são tão caras. Mas, por outro lado, apesar de, de ter essa, essa facilidade das coisas, tens menos oportunidades para, sei lá, para expor o teu trabalho. Ou, ou mesmo, claro, eu não trocava Lisboa por, por nenhuma cidade, acho eu. It was like super interesting to speak to him and I think it's so cool that these young artists are being accommodated for in such a way. Ricardo's studio is right next to the beach, which must be really inspiring. That would be a massive plus point for me living in this city. There's a great atmosphere here. Young people seem to be able to afford the kind of spaces you could only dream of in London. And I think it's really benefiting the music and art scenes. In our next episode, I'm going to visit Leipzig, another city that lots of young people are moving to. It couldn't be more different to what I found in Lisbon. Leipzig kind of feels like the epitome of a German city. I'm just looking forward in general to uh, meeting some people here and finding out a little bit more about what goes on in the city.